everyone welcome to our channel satya's chemistry today in this lesson we are going to learn laqs from organic chemistry first laqs here describe the methods of preparation of ethene and explain the chemical properties of ethene with equation so answer is here answer is first heading is preparation of ethene in preparation of ethene the first reaction is wood reaction what is the first reaction it is the wood reaction in wood reaction reactant is methyl iodide and reagent is sodium metal in presence of dry ether okay so what is the wood reaction in wood uh, wood reaction means when methyl iodide is heated with sodium metal in presence of dry ether to form ethene okay so uh, what is the wood reaction wood reaction when methyl iodide we are taking two moles of methyl iodide heated with sodium metal two moles of na in presence of dry ether it forms ethene c2 h6 plus 2 nai okay this is the reaction for our convenience what i am doing is i am writing here ch3i plus 2 na plus i ch3 see CH3 I or I CH3 both are same only for our convenience only we are writing here I CH3 is it clear this is the first mole and this is the second mole how many moles of methyl iodide we are taking here one two see two methyl iodide how many moles of sodium is we are taking here two moles two moles of Na see two CH3 I plus two Na or you can write it as a CH3 I plus two Na plus I CH3. See here this iodine and two Na and this second iodine eliminate as remove as two moles of Na I and the leftover is ethene. Okay. So for our convenience we are writing chemical reaction like this. Okay. Or you can write like this also. Two moles of methyl iodide plus two moles of sodium gives rise to dry in presence of dry ether. It forms ethene plus two moles of sodium iodide. This is the Wood reaction. Wood reaction means when methyl iodide is heated with sodium metal in presence of dry ether, it forms ethene. Is it clear? And the second reaction is decarboxylation. In decarboxylation process, we are heating reactant with soda lime okay what are the reagent we are taking sorry what are the reactant we are taking here sodium propanate we are heating this sodium propanate with soda lime okay what is the formula of soda lime NaOH CaO okay so when sodium propanate is heated with soda lime it forms ethane see C2H5 COO Na this is sodium propanate this sodium propanate we are heating with soda lamb NaOH CaO this is heating symbol okay so when we heated this sodium propanate and soda lamb eliminates as sodium carbonate Na2CO3 here 1 2 3 oxygens see it's eliminated as a sodium carbonate and the leftover is ethane C2H6 this is ethane okay in decarboxylation process we are heating sodium propanate with soda lime and it forms ethane okay the sodium mm. and the third reaction is sabatius sander reaction in sabatius sander's reaction we are taking ethylene as a reactant Sabatia Sanders reaction when ethylene is heated with hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst it forms ethane this is ethylene or ethene C2H4 we call it as a ethylene we are heating this ethylene with hydrogen in presence of nickel metal it forms ethane okay these three are the alkane or ethane preparation methods what are those First one is Wood reaction and second one is decarboxylation and third one is third one is Sabatier Sanders reaction. Is it clear? In Wood reaction, we are reacting, we are heating metal iodide with sodium metal in presence of dry ether. In decarboxylation, we are heating sodium propanoate with soda lime. And Sabatier Sanders reaction, we are taking ethylene as a reactant, we are heating with hydrogen in 
presence of nickel this is all about alkane or ethane preparation methods how many methods we learn here three methods wood reaction decarboxylation and sabatier sand sabatier sand reaction okay and coming to the chemical properties of ethane in chemical properties of ethane first reaction is halogenation what is the meaning of halogenation halogenation means reaction with halogens that means fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so here we are taking chlorine okay as a halogen uh, what is the meaning of halogenation in halogenation process ethane undergoes halogenation and forms ethane chloride in halogenation ethane in presence of sunlight undergoes halogenation and forms ethyl chloride this halogenation reaction is a free radical reaction free radical reaction what is the free radical mean free radical means unpaired electron containing species we call it as a free radical what is the meaning of free radical free radical means unpaired or single electron electron containing species we call it as a free radical this halogenation is a free radical mechanism reaction so here what happened uh, coming to the first reaction this is a ethane ethane when react with chlorine in presence of sunlight sorry here we should write uh, h nu symbol not uh, heating symbol we should write h nu that indicates sunlight okay in presence of sunlight it undergoes free radical phase and reaction and forms ethyl chloride and hcl this is a free radical chain free radical reaction it involves in three steps what are those first one is incision propagation and termination in a halogenation of ethane the final product is hexachloroethane let's see how the mechanism follows okay in this mechanism the first step is initiation so what happened in the incision the first step is initiation in this initiation step the chlorine molecule cl2 undergoes fusion or we can write it as a cl cl this undergoes homolytic fusion homolytic fusion so what for uh, here we write free radical symbol like this homolytic fusion is the dissociation of a molecule a weight in one electron is retained by each of the virginal fragment of the molecule that means this homolytic fusion is a dissociation process in this dissociation each each atom of a molecule retains one electron that means this is the covalent bond after breaking this uh, ha after homolytic fusion this each atom gains one one electron here and one electron here okay so how can uh, we can write it as a cl plus and cl plus this is the initiation process in this initiation process halogen undergoes to homolytic fusion and it forms free radicals we call it as a free radical what is the meaning of free radical free radical means an elect one electron species or unpaired electron species we are calling it as a free radical free radical forms in homolytic fusion homolytic fusion means it is a bond cleavage process in this bond cleavage each atom of a molecule retains one one electron okay so in the next step is propagation second step is this is the second step and this is the first step and this is termination is the third step in propagation step propagation steps what are happening here we are taking ethane okay so c2 h5 hydrogen or we can write it as a directly c2 sx okay in this step this free radical reacts with ethane so i am writing like this so again here homolytic fusion takes place like this so what happened here c2 h5 radical form and plus h radical form this chlorine radical reacts with hydrogen and forms hcl plus uh, the leftover is 
C2 H5 radical. Uh, in this propagation step, this ethyl radical again reacts with chlorine molecule. So I am writing ethyl and chlorine molecule, or you can write it as a Cl2. Okay, here this chlorine molecule undergoes again homolytic phase. It forms Cl radical and Cl radical. One of this Cl radical reacts with ethyl radical and forms C2H5Cl and the leftover is chlorine radical. And this chlorine radical again reacts with ethane molecule and it forms uh, ethyl chloride and hydrogen radical. This is a continuous step. It has a number of steps. Okay. And the third step is termination step. In termination step, what happened? Two chlorine radicals, one chlorine radical and second chlorine radical combines and forms chlorine molecule or methyl radical and methyl radical combines and forms ethane molecule C2S6 or we can write it as a CH3CH3. Okay, so this is the chain termination process. Now, how many uh, steps are in the uh, free radical chain mechanism? Three steps are there. First one is uh, incision, second one is propagation, and third one is termination. What happened in incision? incision in incision step, homolytic fusion, homolytic fusion or homolysis of halogen takes place and it forms radicals of chlorine atoms or halogen atoms. In propagation step, these halogen radicals react with alkene and forms radical alkyl radical and HCl. In the termination step, two halogen radicals combines and forms halogen gas or two alkyl radicals combines and forms alkane. Okay, so this is the uh, steps which are involved in the free radical mechanism. So when it, it sorry ethane reacts with halogen in presence of sunlight it forms ethyl chloride and hcl in the final step of this uh, halogenation ethane forms hexachloroethane okay this is the final product because here number of steps are involved okay so when ethane reacts with halogens are in halogenation of alkane the final product is hexachloroethane is it clear this is all about halogenation of alkanes and next reaction is nitration what is the meaning of nitration in nitration reaction ethane reacts with concentration HNO3 and forms nitroethane what is the meaning of nitration N nitration means reaction with concentration HNO3. Ethane reacts with concentration HNO3 at 400 degrees centigrade and forms nitroethane. Here for our convenience we can write like this. Ethane I am writing C2H5H concentration HNO3 we can write it as a HONO2. When alkane react with concentration HNO3 at 400 degrees centigrade what happened? This hydrogen and this OH eliminates has a H2O. And the leftover is C2H5NO2. Okay. This is we call it as a nitroethane. What happened in nitration reaction? Alkane rea when reacts with concentration HNO3 at 400 degrees centigrade. It forms nitroethane. Is it clear? This is the reaction. If you are convinced with this reaction, you can write like this or this one. Both are same only. Okay. And the next reaction is pyrolysis. Pyrolysis means reaction with absence in present absence of air okay but here is the pyrolysis in pyrolysis reaction we are heating ethane in the absence of air it decomposes to form ethylene and hydrogen okay see here this is the ethane when we are reacting we are heating at 400 degrees centigrade in the absence of air so we are not uh, taking any air here, here absence of air in absence of air ethane when heated ethane at 400 degrees centigrade it forms ethene okay this is about pyrolysis pyrolysis means reaction in the absence of air okay Re we are not 
here the reaction condition is absence of air and then then combustion or action reaction with oxygen what happened when uh, alkane or ethane reacts in presence of air in presence of air oxygen gives a uh, carbon dioxide and water here ethane c2h6 plus 7 by 2 uh, O2 gives rise to 2 moles of carbon dioxide plus 3 moles of H2O. Okay, in presence of air, it is give it gives us carbon dioxide and water. In the absence of air, that that means in pyrolysis reaction, alkane or ethane gives only alkene, ethylene and hydrogen. This is the main difference between pyrolysis and combustion. Pyrolysis means absence of air. We are taking we are uh, doing the reaction in the absence of a combustion means in the presence of oxygen okay is it clear that is the main difference between the pyrolysis and combustion how many reaction will learn here four reactions what are those first one is halogenation and second one is nitration third one is pyrolysis and fourth one is combustion halogenation means reaction with halogens it is a free radical reaction so alkanes react with halogen forms haloalkane but final product is hexachloro or hexahalo alkanes in nitration reaction alkane forms nitroalkanes here we are uh, taking ethane right that's why we are calling it as a nitroethane in pyrolysis we uh, we uh, take we do the reaction in the absence of air so alkanes gives are uh, ethane ethane gives has ethene in the presence of oxygen alkyne alkanes or ethane gives us to carbon dioxide and water this is all about alkane and alkane preparation methods and alkane reaction if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you